Last time I had financial freedom was probably 2014 when I moved out here. That was the end of it. Seriously, like 2014. We're watching a clip and on YouTube, as I'm streaming, YouTube will say, oh, we have detected that that's someone else's content ID, copywritten content, block fill stream. Guess what? Fuck YouTube. I could just keep going on kick. Seriously. I could just like keep going. Like fuck YouTube then, right? <laughs> <laughs> finish the clip i'll have to hurry of course but finish the clip and then on on kick and then just go back you know it'll pop back on youtube when the clip is done right so it wasn't anything i did wrong google fucked up all right i hope that you guys are enjoying right now viewership has increased guys we're at 72 likes on youtube let's get that to 100 likes and on the youtube side of stuff guys let's get some support we got four bucks of super chats five memberships and one tip let's do better on the youtube side let's not have the kick guys Make an embarrassment out of us, shall we? Let's uh, let's get some si uh, YouTube side support as well today, and thank you guys so very much for that. I want to see new people on the leaderboard. A new person to unthrown Game Taker and a new person to unthrown Monty Mole here. Greed is massively strong. Ugh. No, I didn't get the Krabby Patty. I already talked about it. We're done with that because for whatever reason, they removed it from all delivery apps for no good reason. It was there when I announced the goal and we were in the middle of the week last week. And we were pushing towards doing the Krabby Patty. DSP tries it. It was there. And then we hit the goal and I go to order it and it's gone. They removed it from all delivery apps. Now, I'm in the middle of streaming. I have to order something that can be delivered. I'm not going to drop my stream, leave for a half an hour to get it and come back. Like, what the fuck? So I had to order what was available, which was the Adam's Family Meal, which incidentally was better than the Krabby Patty anyway. It was much bigger. So you're a liar. Would you like to know <laughs> your lucky color? You're a scammer and a liar. Lucky color, eh? It's kind of like, I, t I told you guys that I was going to get you, I don't know. Uh, I told you I was going to get you like a, a Toyota Camry, right? But then the Camry wasn't available. So instead I got you like a Ford Mustang or something, right? It's a step up. So there's no complaints. The only people who are complaining about the Krabby Patty are my detractors because they literally have absolutely nothing to complain about anymore about me because I'm literally winning every day. I'm crushing every goal. I'm getting tons of support. I'm now successful on two separate sites and they can't stand it. So to them, they actually think that talking about that I didn't eat a Krabby Patty burger is a big deal when literally no one fucking cares. No one with a brain who's not mentally stunted cares about the Krabby Patty. Everyone's okay with that fact that I did the Adam's Family Meal instead because it was better. It was a better thing to do. You know, Phil is a thief. Phil is a scammer. Phil doesn't appreciate his fans. Phil's not a real gamer. Again, only slow people would have an issue with it. So if you're, I mean, if you want to prove it, go ahead and complain about it. <laughs> go, I mean, I can't really, I can't really help you. If you want to publicly embarrass yourself to complain about this shit, Go ahead, but all you're doing is exposing yourself to the internet as being incredibly stupid, as being part of this mob of morons, right? Literally, no one cares about this thing. What I did was better. That's like a kid, I mean, man, all I want is a Hershey bar. So instead, your parents hand you like the ultra deluxe candy bar that has peanut butter and caramel and chocolate and everything in it too. You complain that they handed you the better item? Or do you say, oh, that's actually really good, thanks. If you actually would complain you didn't get the Hershey bar, you're a moron. I mean, I can't help you, and I, I don't care about you. And then, of course, he says, yeah, but the negative people, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about the negative people. There will always be negative people. Who fucking cares? There will always be people who are going to be shitting on me. I'm done. With, I'm so done caring about them at this point. Seriously, I'm so over it. You know what I mean? I'm completely over it. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm not going to leave YouTube. Why are people? Dude, listen, I'm just going to say this. We got to end the show. I understand that change can be scary. I get it, okay? I really do. Anytime that that things change, people tend to get nervous or afraid, and I understand that. I'm here to tell you there's nothing to be nervous or afraid about, okay, at all. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm not going to stop making content on YouTube. That's not happening. YouTube is my home and has been for a very long time. I'm not quitting YouTube, you understand? Um, you know, I will let you know if there will ever be uh any kind of change, but it's not going to be, oh, Phil has quit YouTube entirely. I'd be nuts. I'd be crazy. YouTube is the one consistent place I've always been able to make content. For all the years that I made content for other places like Blip TV and Twitch, YouTube has been the staple. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy. I'm absolutely happy to be able to make content for people that people want, no matter where it is. But I'm not going to ever just leave YouTube, okay? I assure you that. I'm not, you know, at the at the least, 
there's always going to be videos uploaded to YouTube. There's always going to be content on YouTube for you guys. All right. Right now, I like the, the, the double streaming. Sambuka says, I don't think we're worried you'll abruptly stop. We're worried it'll die out on its own. So how do you counter that? Continue to show up, continue to engage, and continue to support the YouTube side. It's a no-brainer. You guys know right now that the Kick viewers are very, very supportive, and, and it's lucrative right now to stream on Kick. So support on the YouTube side. 10 gifted memberships was great today. We got $6 in Super Chats and a $2 tip. If you want the YouTube streaming and the YouTube stuff to continue, you got to support it, right? I'm not saying I'm stopping it because I'm not, but it's, again, it makes sense. If you, Why are you so afraid? If you're afraid, then you should say, oh, well, I like the YouTube side of stuff. So here, let me support Phil's efforts on YouTube so that he'll continue to make YouTube content. Just like if you like the kick stuff, please continue to support kick. You see what I'm saying? It just makes sense. It's all logical, correct? It's a logical thought. And so, please understand that if you come by and you cannot contribute, don't feel bad. It's not mandatory that you come by and you contribute anything other than just watching the stream and interacting. Okay, really? Seriously? I mean that. Um, I don't do this for the money. There are many other things I could do for money that are a lot more consistent and are a lot less stressful than these people who harass me online every day. Trust me. I do this because I love it and I do this because you guys tell me there's meaning behind it. And that makes me feel like this is something worthwhile that I need to keep doing. Yeah, Monty Mole, you did it, man. You're the one tip of the day. Two bucks. But do you see what I'm saying? And this is what I am concerned about. Let me, like, one final concern for everyone. My business has now has a ton of different forms of income. We've got YouTube. We've got Kick. We've got a little bit of money that I'm making on merch. And now we've got tips, right? Tips were always a giant part of my income. Tips were a big amount that I would get. And I'd be able to use that every week to do stuff. If the tips go away now completely, that liquidity is gone. But if I make enough from all the other avenues, then it's okay. You see, my concern right now is that we're in this state of flux. And if zero tips come in, zero, like today, I just made two bucks in tips. That's it. Uh, that's going to be a problem because that's money that comes in that I can use every week to do stuff. Do you see? So if you were supporting and you're like, gee, how should I support? Well, if you're on kick, no brainer, do subs on kick, right? But if you're anywhere else, tipping is great. YouTube side of stuff is good too, but you know, the, the, if the tips vanish, yeah, that will be a, a problem in the short term. It may not be a problem in the long term, but it would definitely be a problem in the short term. Do you understand? Um, PW dubs through the dollars, and I think it's a huge misconception that you beg for money. It's just that you're honest to tell others when you need help. That's very admirable about you. Right. And you know, if it's, it's a stream where contributions are low, I'll say something like, you know, it's a slow stream tonight. Not that anyone has to do anything about that, but I just make factual observations, you know? But people want to say stuff like, oh, he begs, whatever. If you want to, if you think that everyone who streams and is trying to actually make a living streaming is a beggar, go ahead and say it then. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. I'm successful at it, so I don't give a shit, okay? Okay. Now, what are we doing? We're making...